Tennessee City fans, welcome into week five of 10 and 10, the show where we take you through the 10 things you need to know ahead of every Orlando City Major League Soccer matchup. The clock is officially ticking, so let's get straight into number one. For the first time this season, Orlando City will have a full week to prepare for a Major League Soccer matchup after playing eight games across the first 26 days of the season. The theme of the week will be rest and recovery, which brings us to number two, Orlando City ride into this matchup off the back of a loss to rivals Atlanta United. Three changes to the starting 11 that took on Tigres midweek included a first start for new designated player Luis Mudial in Major League Soccer, and he lined up alongside star rookie Duncan McGuire for the first time starting the dynamic duo under Oscar Pareja. While the result wasn't what Orlando City were after, the boss, Oscar Pareja, does say that positives were evident, which brings us to number three. Obviously frustrated on not getting a result, uh, but uh, the team that was in the pitch today uh, really has a big effort on, on the game and a commitment to try to do uh, the best possible way that we plan it during the week. So I'm, I'm very proud of them. Uh, obviously, the frustration uh, at, at this point is, is, is probably bigger, but uh, we are professionals and we have to move on. Uh, then there is a, a bunch of things that we saw today that just let us uh, with the taste that we can bounce back here. Uh, I think we uh, represent the club that needs to win games. Uh, what I uh, want to see is the effort of the players and it was there. The effort was there, uh, the idea, the way we do things and, and obviously we have to polish things in the two areas and be better. But uh, the identity of the team is not lost, the identity is there. And number four are a couple of congratulations for two debutantes. Giorgio Koshevsky and Shaq Mohammed officially made their Major League Soccer debuts for Orlando City. Gio's appearance was his first official appearance for Orlando City in competition after being picked up in the 2024 MLS Super Draft presented by Adidas. Coming in at number five is week five for Orlando City as they welcome Austin FC to the City Beautiful for the first time ever. Really loose from Stuva and it's punished. Oh my goodness. Watch for Pereira's shot, beaten away by Stuba, but it's 2-0! Orlando have struck again! What a save! These two sides have faced off only one time before at Q2 Stadium, and two was the theme of the day. It was on May 22, 2022, where Orlando City and the green team played out a two-all draw that was dramatic and chaotic, to say the least. Orlando City finished off playing with just nine men. Let's relive it, and there's a lot to relive. Road start in the win against LA. Oh, that's really loose from Stuva, and it's punished! Oh my goodness! It's less of a point of emphasis this season for Austin, playing it out of the back. We saw them get caught numerous times like this last year. It's the first such example we've seen this. Around the back for Fagundo Torres, who has the inside step. Keller had to be watched for Pereira's shot. Beaten away by Stuva, but it's 2-0! There, the team flooding the penalty area, and it pays dividends, doesn't it, when a rebound falls your way? It's Driussi, and the wall did its job. They're asking for handball, and it's given. They've got the penalty. Ask for the handball. And referee Joe Dickerson gave them what they were asking for. And is that going to be a red card? It is! Three, you see! Right down the middle! This didn't look like a foul until right. Yeah, that last kick right there. He just lost his cool, didn't he? Not sure if he actually connected with Ray, but... He's going to the back pocket, and Orlando City are going to be down to nine men! Change that number on the scoreboard, this just gets better and better. Kolmanich, 
Whipping it in. Great service. Moussa Dite. The result was a 2-2 draw back then, and number six brings us to the present, where 2-2 draws have been a thing that Austin FC like to do. They picked up a 2-2 draw against St. Louis just two matches ago. Pullman inch. It's headed there by Hedges. Matt Hedges, big time set piece goal. Exactly what Austin needed. They had one goal on the season. They doubled their tally. One set. Starts early, he pushes off, finds the space, gets away from Durkin. 49th minute. Not denied this time. Route one and St. Louis City, the comeback kings. They did it against Salt Lake. They've done it here at the Q2 Stadium. 1-1. One, one. Obrian onside. The cross in front. The response is swift. It's Julio Cascante. Both center backs for Austin have scored. Ostrak. Full of and subs for both teams. Austin let him go in way too easily. Arms crossed. Celia Pompeo. Stoppage time equalizer. And the victor, the spoils with an incredible celebration. Their last match against Philadelphia Union, you guessed it, also ended in a two-all draw. But they were given a major boost in that match against Philadelphia. The return of their star player, Sebastian Drusi, to the pitch. Trying to line up his second goal of 2024. He had one in the run of play late against Chicago, and he's got one here in Austin, Texas. All the breaks going the Union's way, and inside the opening quarter of an hour, it's the Union who jump out in front first. And it's who just stepped on. Looking to dump one in, he does. Great ball to the back post, and we're tied! One, one! Diego Rubio's first in a Verde and Black Kids. Game on here in Austin. One player that can do it. Looks like it takes a little bit of a deflection there. Fine. Service out top, backside, chance to make it do! And they do! He started on the right side, and now John Gallagher scoring from the left. Just like that. Austin FC take a 2-1 lead. In their own half from the Union. Martinez, high boot, but he got away with it. Waiting for the overlap from Harrio. Well-timed on the run. Numbers inside the area. Into the back post, and it's 2-2. Finds the back of the net, and the Union have equalized. After missing the first three matches of 2024 through injury, the man who scored 33 goals and 12 assists in green made his official return off the bench, which means he will be fit and potentially starting against Orlando City. And speaking of the bench, number seven brings us to the seven players Orlando City will be without as they are officially serving on international duty. We'll take you through them all. David Brekalo was called up for Slovenia. Abdi Salim called up by Somalia. Fabi Loyola called up by the USMNT U19 team. Duncan McGuire also called up by the U.S. men's national team for at the U23 level. Facundo Torres called up for Uruguay. And of course, our pair of Peruvians, Pedro Galese and Wilder Cartagena on duty with Peru. And speaking of Pedro Galese, he decided it was time to remind everyone why we call him El Pulpo. This incredible double save went viral across social media. And while the result, again, wasn't what Orlando City were after, getting our man between the sticks back to fine form is a positive, if you ask me. And speaking of the man between the sticks, number nine comes in at Mason Steidahar, who is set to start for Orlando City with Pedro Galese out on international duty. Now, it won't be his first start of the campaign as he did start in the CONCACAF Champions Cup, Orlando City's 3-1 win against Cavalry uh, at Inter and Coast Stadium just a couple of weeks ago. And coming in, last but not least, is number 10, which is a milestone watch. Watch out for Kyle Smith, whose next appearance will officially be his 150th for Orlando City. He becomes the second Lion to ever hit that milestone behind only captain Robin Janssen. With Wilder Cartagena out on international duty and Cesar Araujo still nursing that injury, it's possible that we see Kyle Smith line up once again in midfield for Orlando City.
That's all for this edition of 10 in 10. We'll see you same time, same place next week. Hey.